Hello, and welcome to this CUBE conversation on connecting your global enterprise with Cloud WAN, a network built for the AI era. I'm Bob LaLiberté, Principal Analyst with theCUBE Research. Today, I'm joined by Muninder Singh Sambi, Vice President and General Manager of Cloud Networking of Google. And today, we're going to discuss Google's new planet scale network service, which is now available to all organizations and how it can help improve performance, reduce costs, and simplify operational efficiencies. Welcome, Meninder. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for having me here on the show. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to have you here. And I wanted to get started with the questions. You know, Google built a really impressive network to support its own services like, um, you know, Gmail search, et cetera, those, those, all those great services that you have. Um, I wonder if you can give us a sense of how large that is. I mean, you guys operate globally, but talk to us a little bit about the details of the network itself. Happy to do, Bob. Um, you can think of our network as planet scale yeah. um, that we've been innovating for almost 25 plus years. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> if you look back in history, we started off with the internet era, where it was all about search and our ability to bring that network at a global scale to enable search. Then came in streaming era with the YouTube acquisition and YouTube being on the same network infrastructure, expanding, building up the pops so that we can provide the best content delivery closest to the user. And then obviously, you know, cloud was big. So being able to take that network and offering it to our cloud customers to consume was what we believe is the third era. We are at a very exciting point now, which we like to define as the fourth era, which is about AI. And as we all know how AI is going to fundamentally transform everything that we do. When we talk to our customers and they think about AI and Gen AI applications, they're thinking about four things. They're thinking about an AI strategy. They're thinking about a data management strategy. Yeah. They're thinking about a cloud strategy. Yeah. And they're also thinking about a network and network security strategy. Yeah. Because it's, networking is fundamental to almost anything that a customer needs to do from a workload perspective, from a cloud and AI. Now for in this fourth era, what we have done, we've made a lot of investments over the years where we have roughly about 2 million plus miles of fiber, okay. our 33 subsea cables that are Google owned and they span across the entire globe, mm -hmm. are operating and connecting almost 200 plus countries and territories. Yeah, you're a very large network service provider unto yourself and delivering services for yourself. So I've always been impressed with the network and I've covered it previously. I'm wondering if you could talk a little bit, you alluded to a little bit about the AI era, but why open it up to all the enterprises now? Yes, absolutely. So we were on this journey as, as you have done in the past, like cross cloud network, very, very important for our customers, especially in a multi-cloud world. We started with how do we optimize and offer this network to be able to seamless connect workloads how can workloads, whether they are on-prem or in any other cloud, connect to Google managed services or third-party managed services inside Google? And we operated and extended that cross-cloud network with distributed applications. Yeah. And then we also extended our cross-cloud network to offer a global front end where any user that is connecting to an internet-facing application, okay. whether the back end is in GCP, mm -hmm. it's in any of the other cloud providers, or even on-prem, we can provide best in class application delivery security with no compromise of where the back end is. Yeah. Now, in this particular announcement that we did, we are now extending this cross cloud network infrastructure that we have to the enterprise. And what I mean by the enterprise is employees like you and myself in our own organization right. should be able to now connect to cloud and SaaS applications using Google Cloud infrastructure, yeah. what we like to call as CloudWAN. And that's where a lot of our customers who are now thinking of evolving or becoming cloud native, AI native enterprises, yeah. they've started to think about how do I connect my branches in a very simple, easy, uh, have consistent security for all my users and employees as they connect to cloud and SaaS applications. And we believe this was the right time for us to extend our cross cloud network infrastructure into a cloud van offering for the enterprises to consume. Yeah, it, it certainly makes a lot of sense to do it now, right? Organizations are really struggling with a lot of the data that's being moved, the traffic that's being moved, and across globally anyways, right? Organizations are struggling 
to do that in an operationally efficient way because the network keeps growing and getting scaling, getting more complex, but the amount of staff dedicated to managing it stays the same or gets smaller. So there's certainly a, a strong need to, to have a different way to connect your global network. I'm wondering if you could touch upon some of the strategic benefits you see for these multinational corporations and maybe where you see their interest, like what are the top use cases as well that they're, they're being drawn to when you're talking to them about Cloud WAN? Uh, Bob, we see two big use cases. The first one being high performance connectivity and the second one being migrating or connecting branch and campus networks. Let me talk about the first use case. As you know, we had Cloud Interconnect that allowed customers to connect data centers into Google Cloud. Then we got to know, hey, there's going to be a multi-cloud world so we introduced cross-cloud interconnect, but customers were still investing in physical infrastructure and buying various links to connect their data centers. Some customers call it data center interconnect. We wanted to provide a converged infrastructure so that we can have a common infrastructure that customers can use, whether they're connecting their data center into Google Cloud or connecting Cloud A to Cloud to Google, but also extend it to connect their physical infrastructure with data center interconnect. And with that, we announced cross-site interconnect. Yeah. It's a fully managed L2 infrastructure with protected capacity that provides a circuit and we take care of the reliability needs. It's available in almost 70 plus locations globally. It offers roughly about 50% lower TCO. And then we obviously have you know, Citadel as one of our customers who are actually connecting their data centers, not only to Google Cloud for AI infra, uh, especially when they're doing AI inferencing and training, but they also want to be able to use their data center interconnectivity using cross-site interconnect and use it for data movement between these locations. Okay. The second use case is about uh, migrating and connecting branches and campus networks into Google Cloud. And for that, we evolved our premium tier network offering where we now provide lower um, latency, almost improving application experience by about 40%. It's a fully reliable backbone, 99.99%. It also offers 40% lower TCO for our customers. We have Nestle as a very strong co-development partner in addition to many other customers. And Nestle has quoted that for any downtime of 10 minutes, it costs the company roughly about 2.5 million. So employee productivity, reliability is super, super important as part of um, having a global global van uh, infrastructure. Yeah, that's certainly impressive. And I agree with you 100%. We've been tracking this through our research and showing the rise of not just using multi-clouds, but using multiple different public clouds in earnest. And, and we're definitely seeing we're there. I often refer to it as a distributed cloud environment because it takes in both of your use cases, being don't, it's not just about the clouds and data centers, but it's also about those remote locations and how you connect those to the application. So it's great to hear that you took a really thoughtful approach to rolling this out and having it being able to connect to not only data center to data center and colos, but to all the different multiple clouds and then also all the edge and branch locations as well to ensure that you, you said performance, I'll tr translate that into much better customer experience, right? Employee yeah. experience for those people using those applications and obviously for the operations team being able to being able to simplify that through having a single vendor to work with instead of trying to cobble together multiple different vendors, especially when you go global and you've got all those different regions. And I think that's an important point to make sure is made during this conversation. This isn't quote unquote a new service. You're not ironing out, ironing out any of the kinks or the processes. Your teams have been running this network for years, if not a, more than a decade. More than and, a decade. Right, and so you've got your processes down, you've got it down, you've got all the procedures down, you know how to handle those. Again, and you're, that's what you're basically relieving the on-premise network teams, on-premises network teams, uh, from having to from having to deal with any of those issues from troubleshooting and so forth. So, yeah. so really positive approach. So you had mentioned security a couple of times, so I wanted to bring that up. Um, I know CloudWAN has integrated into a number of third-party SD-WAN, SSE, in general, right, SASE vendors, if you will, um, as part of their ecosystem. How is that helping, how is that impacting organizations that are looking to adopt CloudWAN and maybe already have existing tools or are looking to switch to something different? I was wondering if you could comment on that. Yes, one of the big tenants of our cross-cloud network is what an open ecosystem. 
and especially for this particular use case around cloud van, yeah. having an open ecosystem that is fully and tightly integrated, hosted in Google Cloud, is a very important strategic pillar. And one of the things that we have to do is tightly integrate the ISP ecosystem partners that we have. So we have almost every SD-WAN provider. You can have the SD-WAN head end, and we introduce something called the Network Connectivity Center Gateway, NCC Gateway, that tightly integrates the SD-WAN head end with their choice of a SASE provider. Okay. Could be Prisma Access from Palo Alto Networks, yeah. and the likes of others could be Broadcom with the Symantec, and we're also extending that to other SASE providers. With that fully integrated approach, what customers get is a fully managed, uh, secure infrastructure for all type of users and all type of employees. Whether the user and employee is connecting from a coffee shop, an airport, whether they're connecting from a branch, whether they're connecting from a campus, they now are able to integrate and land on a common security infrastructure, which you can have consistent policies. Many of our customers also came back and told us about branch consolidation or uh, simplifying what the branch looks like. So we've extended beyond the SASE, SD-WAN, and security providers. We also worked with some of the newer use cases, uh, for example, Infoblox, yeah. to offer universal DDI. DDI stands for DHCP, DNS, IPAM services yeah. at a global scale. Right. We are also extending that for wireless LAN infrastructure services, working very closely with a very modern stack coming from Juniper and Mist, where physical infrastructure, you need the access points, you need the switches, yeah. but everything beyond that, whether it's wireless LAN controllers, it is network admission control capabilities, or even location services and AI ops. Got it, excellent. Sounds like you've thought it really through uh, in all aspects of the network connectivity spaces. You know, this has been great, super insightful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to thank all of you for watching this CUBE conversation. We were talking about Google's Cloud WAN. Um, if you want to find more information about this solution, please go to the Google website.